Hi friends, I'm home. Yeah, so that's exciting. Um, still got my port access though, so it should be another probably 10 days on antibiotics. <coughs> Please hold. <coughs> and uh, you know, I'm, I'm super fortunate. Uh, FedEx just arrived and they dropped off my meds for the next couple of days. And this doesn't include any of the pills or um, the actual nebulizers, but I just want to show you the magnitude of what people go through when they have something such as cystic fibrosis in order to keep their lungs available um, or open and away from infection. And you know, it just, I'm so overcome with gratitude. Like I really, really am. And it makes me wonder like, what are you guys grateful for? Like, honestly, tell me, tell me about your life. Tell me what you're grateful for. Um, who inspires you and why? And, you know, I'm so grateful. I remember a time in my life when I was on disability and I couldn't make ends meet. And the thought of home health care, like, would stress me out because, you know, I, I didn't have the money. I didn't have the money for insurance. I didn't have the money for anything. And I had to go on the system. And then when you go on the system, you don't get home health. And I'm super fortunate that I know how to run my own IV lines. I know how to disconnect my own tubing. I know how to do all of this stuff that needs done. Um, I've been doing it for 10 years, so I don't really need the help. But do you know how nice it is to not have to drive to like six pharmacies to pick up all this crap? Like, it is super nice. And I'm just overcome with gratitude. And I, I look at my YouTube channel, and we started it like two weeks ago. And people are subscribing, people are liking, people are sharing. And I could look at this as like, crap, like this is so much medication. and. You know, I, I don't feel the greatest every day, um, but I find there is something great in every day. And the moments when I can look at all of my medications, just spread out all the needles, all the, the equipment that I need. Um, I'm just overcome with the fact that like, I freaking made it. Like somebody somewhere is being paid to deliver this stuff to my doorstep so I can figure it out. And you guys have billions of choices of what to watch right now. and you're choosing to watch this and I, you guys like seriously thank you so now's the time i want you to take a couple minutes out of your day and find something that makes you get this find something that makes you unhappy what are you struggling with where are you sad what's that that thing in your heart that's making you be like geez if i could just figure this out or if my life was different just in this one tiny direction and i really want you to let that that just feeling sink in and when you do, I want you to come back and think, what about that is worth being grateful for? It's a different feeling, isn't it? What about that is worth being grateful for? This stuff, CF, not my favorite thing. Some days, yeah, kind of sucks. Not a fan. But I'm a fan of everybody in my life who motivates me to keep my fight. I'm a fan of love. I'm a fan of uncovering my why. I'm a fan of developing habits around my vision. I'm so grateful that I'm in a situation where oh, somebody from FedEx can deliver my meds so I don't have to get in the car, figure out how to drive a car with an access port. Um, you know, because when you turn your neck, it kind of hurts. Um, you know, like somebody delivered this crap. This is amazing. I freaking love 2018. Heck yes, I want to live. I want to see 2019. What's coming in 2020? Oh my gosh, 21, 21, or 2021 is going to be there soon. Like we are living in abundant, fantastic times. Our lives are worth fighting for. So if you're losing that fight or you're pissed off about something or something doesn't make sense and you're not feeling grateful, why? Find what's grateful in it. You can. Too many people... Too many people are losing their lives today. People are getting hit by a bus all the time. People are having freak accidents. There's gonna be a mother somewhere in your state, in your country, in your city, maybe in your building, who's gonna come home from a hard day at work and find out that their child didn't live throughout the school day. Maybe it was a shooting. Maybe they had a health issue. There's going to be a kid tomorrow who wakes up without a mom or dad. There's going to be grandparents that are buried. It happens every day. Death happens. Every day. 
It does us no good to not have gratitude in our hearts. There is nothing we can benefit from by being upset about anything. There's no benefit. It's just wasted breath. And we all know how important breathing is. So figure out what's pissing you off. Figure out what's upsetting you. Figure out what's wrong in your life. And if you're like most people, you have a pretty long list. Then take like five extra minutes and just think about why you're grateful that you have that problem. And if you need to make a change, make a freaking change. It's your life. Change it. Change it before your life's over. Change it before you live a life of regret. You've got one time. You've got one life. Make it yours. Make it count. Keep gratitude in your heart. And love the people next to you. Because we're all afflicted. My, my disease is cystic fibrosis. But your disease might be living a life that you wish you weren't living. Let me tell you something. Both are terminal. I'm here for you. Go ahead, like, subscribe, share. Tell your friends. Um, your inspiration, your messages that I've been getting keep me going, keep me doing these. Um, but I just had to stop and share my gratitude for every message I've been sent so far and uh, how amazing it is that FedEx just delivered my medications. Cheers, and I'll see you soon.